imagine struggling to breathe every single day. It's a reality for millions of Americans who have COPD. Dr. Rakesh Alva is here to talk about that. Dr. Alva is a pulmonologist and a sleep medicine specialist at Labauer Pulmonary Care, and he's a member of the Cone Health Medical Group. Good morning. Good morning. We were talking earlier, right before the segment, about um, things that people tend to, and, you know, lung cancer is something that people turn to, but COPD is a problem for millions of Americans too, right? That's correct. Um, COPD is a generic term for, it's, it's an acronym actually for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mm -hmm. and it's a generic term for all smoking and use lung disease. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what is commonly referred to as chronic bronchitis and emphysema together, you know, is called COPD. So there could be different forms. If you hear the term COPD, it could mean different things for different people. That's exactly right. Okay. So, so smoking, for instance, causes two kinds of uh, damage to the lungs. This inhaled smoke can damage the lining of the lungs to mm -hmm. the point where there's a lot of mucus production. Right. And you know, what starts off as a smoker's cough can eventually lead to a long-standing productive cough, what we call chronic, that's when we use the term chronic bronchitis. Mm -hmm. And the other kind of damage, smoking can also damage the lining of the, of the air sacs where, where actually the lung you know, exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide. And this makes the lung lose its elasticity and, and, that's, and it actually forms these holes in the lung, mm -hmm. literally what we call emphysema. So together, chronic bronchitis or emphysema in certain parts of the lung there can be chronic bronchitis and other parts there can be emphysema and together we, we call it COPD. Uh, so all of a sudden that part of our body, which is, is very is vital, becomes less efficient. The body it, in any form is taking in less oxygen. It's tough, it's a struggle to breathe it's a struggle to get in enough enough oxygen. That's that's absolutely right. And and, and in terms of symptoms, you know, it can manifest itself as mm -hmm. an inability to breathe. You know, people who can who could do certain activities before and suddenly find themselves unable to do those kinds of activities because they're short of breath. Um, it can manifest itself as a smoker's cough, like we said, that transforms into this chronic cough that's mm -hmm. either productive or not. Uh, at other times, some people can actually wheeze, just like you do in asthma, and you, you hear a whistling noise when you breathe. Um, and then lastly, you can also, you know, frequently get chest colds, or if you actually do get a chest cold, like, you know, everybody does once mm -hmm. a year, and they, these people will find it extremely difficult to get rid of such a chest cold. Your body doesn't have that ability to bounce back because of that reduced capacity. That's correct. correct. Well, do doctor, thank you very much. We appreciate you talking about it this morning. Thank you so much. And I tell you what, the folks at Cone try to give you a lot of tools and ways to try and quit smoking. You heard about some of the contributing factors there. Well, Cone Health is offering a four-class smoking cessation program. It's open to anybody 18 or older who smokes. Find out more about meeting times and locations at conehealth.com slash smoke free. And for more information on health problems affecting your ability to breathe, go to conehealth.com lungs. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.